Happy Valentine's Day, Cowboy Nation. We are your very special host for this very special Valentine's Day episode of Cowboy Alley News. I'm Cupid. And I'm also Cupid. We have an outstanding show for you this week. What makes this show outstanding? I heard the hosts are in diapers. Good point. Um, anyways, here's a little something about the LHS Reads program. UCs do it. California State Universities do it. Private colleges do it. Other high schools do it. Why don't we? Well, what is it? Every year, schools around the country choose a book that the whole campus reads. Everyone? Everyone. Administrators. Coaches. Secretaries. <laughs> Teachers. And of course, the students read it. We're the first high school in Livermore to do it. LHS Reads introduces this book, The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian by Sherman Alexi. It's a great book. It has something for everyone. Sports. Friendship. Love? Read it. The library has at least 20 copies. So why read it? Read it because you can. It's something for everyone to talk about. LHS Reads. Be a part of the fun. I'm sorry I couldn't save you. What is awesome? And how do we define it? Is it something that we can hold? Or just a mere idea? Some might say that awesome is cool, amazing, even inspiring, using the word to describe objects or actions. But what about people? Can they be awesome? Does it come naturally, or does someone have to earn it? This is a story of a group of kids that definitely earned it. This group of four kids, Jacob, Elijah, AJ, and Jordan, all shaved their heads to support their friend Jackson, who's living with alopecia. Uh, alopecia. Um, Jackson was diagnosed with alopecia when he was two, and it means that his body attacks his hair follicles like they were germs. So, like your body would attack your germs if you're sick, his body attacks his hair. Jackson's mom explained how Jackson got really sad when his hair started to fall out. He wanted to be just like all the other kids. But little did you know, all the other kids wanted to be just like him. Well, when I saw Jackson's um, bald head, I would actually tell my mom that uh, if can I shave my head, and she actually led me. It was inspiring. A five-year-old shaving his head to support his friend who couldn't grow hair, but it didn't stop there. Three other kids stepped forward and shaved their heads as well. Shave your hair. Cause Jackson's my friend and I like his head. Oh, why you guys shave your heads? Cause he's my best friend. He's your best friend. Why? Why do you shave your head? So my friend won't be alone. These four kids made up a group and called themselves Team Awesome. Yeah, what's Team Awesome all about? Um, it's about um people at for Jackson and well it's about shaving heads and like stuff about all that. Even Jackson told us how he felt about Team Awesome. I'm really surprised when my friends shaved my head for a Then out of nowhere the principal of Jackson's school shaved his head and became part of Team Awesome. Five-year-olds caring enough to support a friend so that he won't feel left out. Five-year-olds, creative enough to come up with a solution to make a friend feel accepted and wanted. Five-year-olds, mature enough to understand that people who are just a little bit different are still people that should be included and not bullied. This is Team Awesome. But it makes you think, what happened over time? At what age do children stop accepting and start avoiding? Why do kids put each other down rather than pick one another up, like Team Awesome does? Does this mean we're no better than five-year-olds? So Cupid, how do you feel about those mahoganies? Well, actually, they're kind of my fault. Oh really? How's that? Well, about a hundred years ago, I was skipping through the forest, and I accidentally shot Teddy Roosevelt while he was admiring his mustache in his handheld mirror. And the rest is facial hair history. Uh, don't beat yourself up about it. I've had the Hollywood territory for years, and look how my matches have been going. Yeah, thanks. Dude, dude, Cupid, Cupid, I got you. Ah! 
So Bill, will you be my Valentine with or without the mustache? Come on, Bill. Uh. Yeah. Will you be my Valentine with or without the mustache? Without. Uh, uh, I think I think without the mustache. Uh, that's a that's a tricky question, isn't it? Um. Um. Probably with the mustache. Wolf, any 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 way you want. Yes. Yeah, got Daniel. Mm -hmm. Christian. Yeah. Like, like, you be my Valentine with or without the mustache? Without the mustache, yes. With the mustache, no. Oh wait, before we do that, you guys have to. Alright, so Mikey, would you be my Valentine with or without the mustache? Yes. Whichever. Whichever? Mm -hmm. You take me anyway? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not a mustache. It's a Fu Manchu. It's a mustache. No, it's a Fu Manchu. I don't think so. No? No Either. mustache? No. Neither? Either way. So ladies, Valentine's Day is coming up. Will you guys be my Valentine with or without the mustache? Without. 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 Yeah. Come on, Bill. I might loan you money. The boys and girls basketball teams need their sixth man. Head across town tonight for the boys game, then return here for the girls game for their season finale. There are also some upcoming events that you can see here in the LHS theater. Such events include the LHS drama production of Animal Farm, the musical, which you can see next weekend, and the annual fiction addiction event, which you can see on February the 26th. That does it for another edition of Cowboy Alley News. On this day of flowers and heart-shaped boxes, we'd like to say, Happy Valentine's Day, LHS. Have a great four-day weekend. Wait, what four-day weekend? Yeah, you know, no school tomorrow or f Monday. Cool. Dude, who's gonna change us?